Hey guys, what's going on? So today we have a pretty special video and uh, basically there's a lot of hype about electric skateboards and I got kind of interested in it too so I decided to build my own skateboard, an electric skateboard. So this is a board here that I'm starting off with that I got on eBay for a pretty good deal. It's I think 39 inches long. It has a pretty nice looking pattern here. So the next parts we got here is uh, motors with trucks. So this is actually, I got on eBay also, but they look pretty nice. These are pretty heavy. I think they're called 6364 size motors. But they're pretty nice. So that's the rear truck and the front truck. And these are hub motors here. So the new style kind of, or the mag, uh, the, the motor is inside of this wheel, so. And here's all the connectors to it. So the next thing I got on eBay is this guy. It's basically the controller for the motors. Also for the remote here. So it kind of works together with all this stuff. So the remote actually comes with this, which is uh, the receiver for the remote and the uh, controller for the motor. So, And I got this plastic cover too. It was separate. Um, the cool part is is that it's got the battery indication here and the button on and off button so it makes it a bit a little bit more pro so and here's the remote that comes with it it's you know just a generic Chinese skateboard remote nothing too fancy the next thing I got batteries and that's important because you want good quality batteries for your board so what I got is the LG the LG, oh here we go, HG2. I think that's correct, HG2. So anyways, these are the 3000 milliamp hours here. And there it says right there, 3.7 volts. So these are supposed to be high drain, 20 amps, continuous. So they're perfect for electric skateboard. So we got 10 of these, which will make us the uh, 36 volt system, which is a S10. So and then we got some accessories here that came with the with these wheels here. There's a separators, or not separators, should I say, but extenders for the trunk trucks to make it higher. But I don't think I'm going to use this because I don't want the board to be too high. And we got bolts and stuff. This I got separate. This is actually a little plug here. I think it's a 2.5 millimeter plug, which I'm going to use to recharge these batteries eventually. And then these are BMS for these batteries. So I had to get two of them. They're S5 uh, each. So that'll make it S10, which is what I got here. So. Anyways, that's the, all the parts so far. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off this wrapper here, off of this board. And you can see here, it's pretty nice. It's got a really nice finish to it. There is some clear coat on it or something. So it's not just uh, wood, it's, there's actually a finish to it. Yeah, it is. There's definitely a finish to it. It's soft. So I guess the first thing we can do is put these trucks on with the wheels. So I'm guessing this one goes like this. And then this big one, and this is pretty heavy, guys. We'll go around here. I think I want it right there. Right behind this logo thing here. Something like that. That's what it's going to look like. So and these are obviously going to go inside. And the, the issue I'm having at the moment is, or I didn't realize I was going to have, is that because this board is so rounded or concaved, which is very good for the for the ride on top but down here we got a really good curve and what's happening is this control board is having a huge gap on the sides here here and here so so anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and put the bolts in the trucks first and we'll tighten these guys up and then we'll have sort of somewhat a skateboard or a longboard should I say so here are the bolts that came with it all right guys, so I put the front truck on. And as you can see, those bolts are too long, way too long. So anyways, we'll have to chop them off here later, I guess. 
But I want to make sure that it's okay this, because it's pretty low profile here. So I want to make sure I'm not biting into the wheels when I'm going to turn. So. Anyway, so other than that, everything is good on the front here. I guess we'll go ahead and uh, put the uh, back one on now. Alright guys, so both of the trucks are on. Nice and tight. So I'm definitely going to have to cut these off. They're way too long. But in any case, so the next thing that I'm thinking that I probably need to do is this board here. So I want my battery pack to be up here. The reason why is because a lot of the weight, because this thing is really heavy right here. So and uh, I want some of the, I want the board to be a little bit more balanced and not so heavy in the back. So I want to put the batteries up here. All right, guys. So before butchering the whole board and trying to fit this thing, I decided to. Um, I do have a power supply here, so I decided to connect it to here and it actually fired up as you can see here I got it on 40 volts and uh, There's LEDs all over the place blinking, which is cool. I guess there's like one two Three LEDs on this board, but they're all blinking. So when we turn on the remote it actually connected and uh, all the lights are blinking on it, so we got, I didn't know this until we played around with it just a little bit here, but we actually have three settings here. We got low, medium, and high. So low is all the way up, medium is in the middle, and high is on the, on the bottom. So if you push this button, it goes into reverse. And if you push it again, it goes back to forward. So, and this is the power button down here, and this is the uh, charge port, USB charge port, micro USB. So, anyways, Marcus. Turn us on on slow mode here. We'll see how it powers on. Yeah? Yeah, go ahead. And as you can hear, the motors are very quiet. It has just a slight wobble at the speed. So, but it is pretty quick, and that's how much it's drawing. Of course, it's not pulling any load, so it's not going to draw much. It's only 0.6 of an amp, barely anything. So, but the battery does fall down to, uh, well, actually, no, I didn't have the voltage all the way up. So, yeah, there you go. So, it looks like this thing can easily handle 41, 42 volts. Probably more than that, this thing. But in any case, that's what we got. So, Marcus, now let's change it to medium. Go ahead and turn it up. Right here. So, now we're going to switch it to medium. Okay, that's medium. All right, fire it away. And that's definitely a lot higher speed there. So I don't know what medium's about, but it's definitely not as high as high. But it's still quick, seems like, compared to the low. So anyways, that's medium. Yeah, as you can tell, these motors are very quiet. All right, so next we'll try the high, which is freakishly fast. All right, Marcus, fire away. Just watch out. That's it. It's full speed. I mean, it just gets there immediately. So, I know it's hard to tell because the wind-up is so fast. But All right, guys, so I got this thing flipped over, and I'm trying to see where I want it all. And the more I look at it, the more I think that I want this as close as possible to that. Because first of all, it just looks a lot better and uh, makes more sense. It's kind of like a one unit thing here. And uh, plus it'll give me my batteries on this side. So it kind of, you know, looks a little better where this part is empty here. Alright guys, so I actually put it in. I drilled holes. One, two, three, four. And I screwed it down. And uh, it looks good. Try to make it as even as possible everywhere. So it looks pretty good. So it's pretty close to the motor here. Or to this uh, truck here. That's what I wanted so it looks nice and clean. Alright guys, so I got a lamp cord here that I'm going to use. And where I went ahead and soldered uh, the connectors here. So I'm starting to uh, tape one side up here. Um, it's too bad I don't have shrink wrap because that would have been perfect for this, but I'm just using electrical tape, which should be fine. But I'm about to make a 
wrap this one and then I'll wrap them together. It should be plenty. So what we're doing here is we finally received our um, holders here. So now we just got to put them together. So I think the idea is still the same like we had before. Is we're gonna have them somewhere around here like this. One, two, three, and then we'll have the uh, BMS here. So, so and that'll be our battery packs. The little pins here are poking up, so I need to bend them over so this thing can sit flush and I can, uh, there's little holes here, um, so I can screw them down into the board. Alright guys, so I soldered all these uh, in series, so basically what's happening is, if we're going to start from here, we can go like negative, and then positive, negative, and basically it loops in like this. Goes like this, back around, back around, back around, back around, back around. So essentially we'll have our positive here and our negative here and this will give us 37 volts output. So from 10 batteries. Alright, so I put a little bit of glue here before I put it on there because I want it to stick good too. It's just goop so it comes up right off so it's not anything super permanent. Alright guys, so all the um, holders are in there now. We got a couple screws here and there and there so they're real tight. So everything's good. So the next project would be BMSs. So I'm not too familiar with all this stuff, but just looking at the diagrams, it doesn't look too complicated. And let me show you what that looks like. So basically you got, this is a 5S, so and I got two of these for 10 batteries. So basically what's happening is the negative of the battery will go to that side, which says right here, B minus. And then this is the output to the controller. Alright guys, so this doesn't look all that great, but anyways, it's done, so everything is connected, all the BMSs are connected. Anyway, so the next part would be to put the batteries in. So I need to really clean all this up somehow. So I put all the batteries in, and um, kind of taped some stuff up here so they don't fall, just for testing purposes, to roll it around. And I've been charging the batteries on this power supply and so they're charged pretty much all the way here there are like 40 volts like 40.1 volts right now total combined so the BMS's seem like they work I keep uh, testing it back and forth and they're all the every battery is exactly the same so alright so uh, let's power this thing on which I think you just push this button here and there it goes four dots so I'm going to disconnect it from the charger, actually, I should have done that first. But, there we go. So power is still on. Now let's see. There's a little button down here on the remote. Push it. And that's it, I think. So, let's see. Push it forward. There it goes. Nice. So I'm gonna put it on the ground. Hopefully none of this stuff falls out. There we go. So let's go forward. Well, I guess it's backwards right now. You change the direction is this button right here. In front of the remote. No button. There it goes. And the brakes work good too. So to go back, you push the button again. Okay, so the main test is going to be if it will carry me. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh yeah, no problem actually. Pretty cool, let's go backwards. Alright, we're back at the table. So, now that I know that everything works, seems like fine, I might give it a little bit more test. Um, see, make sure everything's good under load and everything. Another thing is I still have to find a cover for here, so I haven't done that yet. So if you're going to build your own skateboard, maybe it's a better idea just to go ahead and uh, 
buy a cap because you can get them pretty cheap from China so under $20 for sure like $15 like a battery cap alright guys so I went to the store Target to be exact and I found one of these uh, like a storage containers with the with the lid and what I did is and I was looking for something right about this size because this is actually exactly the same size as this just a big square though and uh, it's perfect for these batteries actually and so mostly I was looking for something thin like this so I finally found something so but well, how I got it that thin is I cut off this lip here that was here so once I cut that off it became nice and slim and it has a little lip here where I can put the uh, screws in around so it's perfect actually and it fits just right literally Hey guys, so so far basically what I've done is I've taken this off and I put the wires drilled holes on both sides here and here and here and then what I did is I used the chisel and a hammer and I chiseled out two grooves from this hole to this hole so this wires here can be flush with the board as we got a really clean back so the wires just go up through there and then they come out right here and there they are both of them so anyways I got this cleaning this up I'm going to use this box to hold the BMS's here um, they all reach fine I had to redo a few of them so they can reach and uh, yeah so one of these wires will go to the positive and the other one will go to the negative which is to, to the BMS's so and that's it, then it'll be done. And then we can work on our cover. All right guys, so I got everything wired up in here the way it's supposed to go. And put this, the BMS's in the box. So, and I started working on this cover here. That will go like this. So I'm gonna get this painted and then we'll put it all together. All right guys, so that is painted and it's a little bit shinier than that, as you can see, but I think over time it'll fade out. So it looks good overall. So I think it will be just fine. Unfortunately, you can see all these labels here, but what are you gonna do? All right, guys. So here it is. It's done. I didn't have any black screws, so I put these in, but I'm gonna change them out later to black ones. And I got a couple more here to drill on each side, but I don't wanna do that yet till I get black screws but for now that's fine so and I got my charge port in here so the little rubber garnet so I just plug it right in and that's it so overall I'm happy I know it's not perfect but you know it's pretty good overall it seems to match so here's another view of the whole thing not too bad and then the side profile which is very minimalistic and that's what I like that's what I was aiming for very like slender look nothing crazy so so yeah it looks good overall almost can't tell that that's anything so I'm actually pretty happy with the results alright guys so I'm gonna have to apologize because I put on the grip tape and I used the board as you can see it's dirty <laughs> so I wasn't able to film because it was at night and I didn't have my camera and I was too excited to see how this baby will run but in any case I put the grip tape on here and as you can see I didn't do that good of a job it's not perfect but it's good enough so I just used the knife to cut it once I stuck it on then I cut it out it probably would have been better now that I think about it to maybe trace it on the back of the of this and then cut it out with scissors probably would have been straighter or I could have made some kind of design but I decided just to go the simple way and just make it all black so the only bad part is of course my screws are still all underneath there you can see some of them are poking out here and there so um, eventually I will cut them through and let them stick out these wires that I ran on the top are not deep enough and as you can see there's little bulges here which kind of sucks you can't always tell it only in certain light but yeah so as you can see they're there I guess it's not that big of a deal it just kind of sucks because it doesn't look as good but 
it's not bad overall. But in any case, all is good. I did get a little test run on this thing and it runs good. It's very strong, I can tell you that. And I'm pretty heavy and it pulls me pretty easily. Let's take it out somewhere and see how she does. All right guys, so we are a pretty amazing location and there's pretty, pretty steep inclines here. I don't know if you could tell too much on the camera, but there are pretty steep inclines here. So let's get this baby up. I think they say no skateboarders in this park, but what are you gonna do, you know? It's a nice little park to ride a skateboard on. So we put the power button on here. Turn on the remote. And it should be paired. The only thing I noticed is that every time I pair the remote, it always starts in reverse. Which is kind of annoying because you gotta remember to click this button right here to put it forward. So, anyways. Yeah, so let's see if we can uh, climb that hill over there. Alright, let's see if I can do this without falling. I am definitely not a skateboarder. So, here we go. And first thing's coming up is that speed bump. I hope my electronics will... Oh, hold on, I just lost connection for some reason. I don't know why, but here we go. Oh yeah, speed bump, no problem. Sorry guys, I never rode a skateboard and filmed at the same time. But yeah, it's going up this hill, no problem. This is a pretty steep hill, as you can see. Speed bump, no problem. Um, another thing I noticed is that I have no brakes because the battery is full. So I don't even know how to stop right now. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. I don't even know how fast that was going. But I had to jump off of this thing pretty quick, guys. So that was crazy. So that's a pretty big negative already is that, you know, if I'm going down the hill and the battery's fully charged like it is right now, I can't stop this thing. So that makes it pretty dangerous, actually. I guess I need to kill the battery a little bit before I'm able to... Concord. There's a really steep hill over there going down. I want to go up it and see if it'll go. I mean, it's crazy steep. But I'm going to see if I can kill some of this battery so I can uh, go down that hill and then go back up. All right, so let's. I'm down this big hill and let's see if we can get up this hill without uh, stopping because it's pretty steep and I'm 190 pounds. Okay, let's roll. So far, so good. Starting to slow down just a bit. Man, this is a really mean hill, by the way. Board is beeping. But it's getting me up. And it did it. Okay, it's starting to pick up speed again. Still beeping though. No problems. It did slow down a lot, so, but it did a good job overall, I would say.
All right, guys, so here are the final thoughts on the board. So far, I like it a lot, actually. Um, it's pretty good overall. It pulls me up pretty huge hills. I'm pretty heavy, so if I wasn't as heavy, it would, like, if you're, like, 170, 160, this thing would probably be really, really quick, so. Anyways, I'm pretty happy with how everything turned out. Still need to do a couple of minor things to button it up, but overall, it's pretty much done, I guess. So for what it is, it's good. I'm happy that I built it. Um, I'm gonna make more videos about, you know, the top speed and all that good stuff and the range. Um, it should be able to go close to 20 miles per hour, but I'm not sure. It seems like it will. It's pretty quick. But in any case, it is nice. So uh, I'll keep you guys updated on the video. Yeah, thanks for watching this video and hopefully, you know, this encourages you either to build one or to buy one. Honestly, uh, I don't recommend building it now that I built it because you can get something like a Meepo board or a WoW board, which is basically the same thing. This right here, I think it's the same thing. So, in any case, peace.